Okay, hey guys, welcome to another tutorial. Uh, well, we're going to do some product shots and uh, you can use either images or you can use video, whichever you prefer. Um, obviously, if you just took a photo of your, pro your um, uh, product and then you obviously not going to have a video for it to do uh, in this example right over here. But don't worry, that's why I have some image examples. But you can tell over here that this is uh, definitely video it's harder to tell with these ones but i will show you in just a sec with those so uh what i did with these ones here though with these lens this is actually the 50 mil 50 millimeter f 1.8 uh what i did was i just had the light above the lens and i just used my hand to kind of pull it uh from one side of the frame to the other and you can see it definitely has a really cool result um and with the sound effects obviously it sounds really nice um, it just sells the effect a lot more. So, uh, just to give you an idea, you saw this in the beginning of the video, but this is what the, the basic one looked like. So yeah, obviously you can have that with the image, image ones. Obviously, you're not going to have movement or anything. It's just a picture. Uh, it might be better if I have it like this. It's just a picture. Uh, and I'll actually just do one demonstration for you guys so you can see what's going on. Let's see. This is this was a fun one so uh, We're gonna apply very similar uh, Effects to all of them um, I'm just gonna actually just copy this over just to get rid of that logo because I don't like I don't like it and uh, So the first thing we're gonna do is actually we're gonna create a mask, right? Uh, actually, we're gonna go ahead and do a ellipse So we're just gonna drag this up here uh, we're just gonna make it relatively big because I mean we want it we want a lot of the the car at the same time because we're gonna add a feather and a feather of about uh, let's say 130 uh, that seems pretty decent um, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna keyframe the mask path when we go back select this mask I'm gonna drag it all the way off frame here until you can't see the car anymore I'm gonna drag that keyframe to the beginning and then it's automatically going to create another keyframe here. When I drag this again, I'm going to drag that to the end. I'm going to drag this keyframe to the end, right? So essentially now we have this, right? Uh, without that, let's show you what it looks like. So that's what that looks like, right? But obviously it, it doesn't quite look as good. Uh, we've just It just looks like there's literally nothing going on. It's just a mask and you can tell. So to make it look a little more like this, uh, we're gonna fix it a little bit because you can see this is like highlight here. It looks like there's a there's actually a light there So to get this little highlight here uh, it accents the vehicle and the little little curves and things So to get that we're gonna duplicate the bottom layer uh, We're gonna delete that mask and we're gonna create another mask What we're gonna do though is we're gonna create sort of a triangle kind of thing because the lights kind of shining down and The most light is gonna hit the top here and it's gonna kind of diffuse as it goes down, right? So uh, let's just make this a little bigger here um, and then we're going to do the feather probably at about 100 whoops not 10 100 and uh, we're going to do what we did uh, to the other one very similar keep keyframe the mask path I'm just going to select this and drag this out to the side and uh, drag the keyframe to the beginning and then I'm going to move this all the way to the other side very similar to what happens now I've got to make sure that uh, once I have that I'm going to make sure that mask is relatively in the middle of the other mask. So uh, just to show you what I'm talking about. So here's the edge of the one, the first mask we did, uh, this one right over here. So we're going to keep it very similar. So with that edge of the mask there and the edge of the mask there, we're going to keep this relatively in the middle, right? Um, and as we go down, you can see it kind of falls behind a bit. So what I'm going to do is just go back to this keyframe. I'm going to drag it a bit further out right and just get that keyframe back to the end so let's see how that does okay much better so next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a curves effect uh, just so that we can accent that light over there so what we're going to do is go to the curves i'm going to drag the brights up a bit and you'll see what's going to happen here you'll see there let's drag this up a bit more and drag that down it just takes a bit of tweaking and so you can see without it there's no really accent there right um, and I can definitely reduce the feather to kind of accentuate it so 
uh, right there. You can definitely see there's an edge there and the edge there. It just depends on what you've got, what you want. Uh, but that looks that actually looks pretty decent. Um, and to be honest, that's pretty much it. The sound design on top of that makes it sound cool. Uh, very similar with this effect. You can see that without the top uh, curves layer over here, uh, you'll see that it just looks pretty basic and simple, right? But when I turn that back on, it adds a bit of accent to it. it makes it actually look like there's a light there, right? Um, same thing for this one. Very similar uh, that when we did and this one as well. So uh, pretty straightforward. But now I'm going to get a little bit into the sound design. I know this wasn't really part of the tutorial, but I'm kind of just winging it right now. And if it works out, it works out. If not, then uh, it's okay. That's cool. So let's see. Uh, let's see what this sound effect is. Okay, so that's obviously not going to work for that shot. Okay, pretty cool. All right. Okay, this is actually pretty decent. Uh, let's go ahead and just slow that down. I pressed R on my keyboard to change the time. Uh, just kind of add, add a little slower sound to the, the audio. Let's check this out. Okay, we can even add that even slower, right? So... Maybe even slower. That's pretty cool. I like that. And I'm just going to trim it up. I'm going to add a default transition just to kind of fade that out. A little sooner than normal. That sounds pretty cool. Uh, next thing, let's see. I had some air. All right, right over here. So uh, let's see. I muted that track, but let's just get rid of these, right? All right, so just to drag this down a bit, get some space here for some audio design. Uh, let's already take this down. I can already tell it's gonna be loud. Whoops, <laughs> that's not what I wanted to do. All right. So like again, before, I'm gonna just stretch that out using the R on the keyboard. I'm going to take the audio down as well, just a bit. Do it again. I'm just pressing G to pull up the audio again. Let's see, negative five. <clears throat> uh, let's stretch that out a bit more. I'm going to take the audio down even more. Okay, it's kind of cool-ish. Maybe we'll just add some accent at the end here. Uh, let's get the audio down again, because it's all pretty loud. Okay, so it's too sharp in the beginning there. Let's just fade that in. Okay, uh, maybe if we stretch it out a bit more, let's see what it sounds like. Come on. Wanna listen to me? No? Not as much as you can go? No? Okay. Let's see. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's fade this out so it doesn't sound so harsh going out. Okay. Yeah, this should go down even more. Okay, pretty cool. Let's see what else we got here. Maybe this using the transitioning into the next shot. Let's see what this sounds like. Uh, obviously, I'm going to take the audio down. What if we stretch it out? I love stretching audio out because it adds such a different sound to it. Let's see. Oh, that sounded pretty cool. What if we slow it down even more? Okay. 
I like it. It just finishes a little too harsh. So I'm just going to fade that end out a bit. Just like that. What if I duplicate it and do more of it? Let's see. Uh, can I reverse it? Let's do a speed and duration. Let's reverse it. That sounded cool. All right, perfect transition to the next one. Let maybe drag it over a bit. And this is just a lot of just trial and error experimenting. That's cool. Now we can add another effect to this shot. Okay, here we go. See, so we've got a power head here. This is what I was looking for. So take the audio down. Let's get that back there. Do I have another power head? Okay, I do. <clears throat> oh, I like. And what else we got here? Okay, let's uh, let's give it a go. It's kind of cool. Need something else as well. Let's give that a go. Okay, so kind of kind of cool. It definitely needs some work, uh, for sure. But you kind of get the, the basic idea. So, um, yeah, probably in the in the final edit, I'll have some some stuff refined um and uh, yeah i mean pretty much similar for the lenses and stuff but yeah um that's pretty much it uh there's i mean it's just a whole bunch of layering your effects uh audio on top of different audio effects to kind of sell the, the final result um but yeah that's pretty much it if you guys did enjoy consider subscribing i am going to be making more in the future uh there's a bunch of other tutorials and stuff i've done in the past on my youtube channel go ahead and check that out if you would like but otherwise, until next time, remember, keep smiling, keep shooting.